this, he will be in debt. Some coffee. <laughs> So we've got Dutch Knight, we've got Mario, HRH, Dunder, all the boys that I know very well from the House of Immortals. Our guys, they've got full on Berserkers, they're going a very interesting strategy here against the boys. It's all Berserkers, it's Berserker versus Berserkers, Kebabs bringing all Berserkers as well for the most part here. All Berserkers on the att attack inside. This is going to be a very Mimi, Mimi, Mimi kind of battle here. Very, very mimi. 91% of you think kebabs have this though. 91% of you guys think kebabs have got this against baguettes. Very interesting battle. Very interesting strategies here from both sides. I don't know if they practiced this, if this was part of the fun, but there's some Iron Reapers coming out for the defending side here as well. They're getting themselves split here. The Jamlar boys are all spread out. Both sides of the map. Going to be very interesting here. Going to be very interesting. I will support them by throwing away my points then. <laughs> Lexi, you do that. I'm really pissed off about how people behaviors to the white. Yeah, just be fearful, boys. That is all we want. Fearful? What do you mean by... Jorna, I don't know what you mean by... The behaviors to the white. What behaviors? Whose behaviors? I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know what you're talking about, uh, Jorna. I'm sorry. So, Z map, we're going to have to get out here very quickly. Let's get on the screen, get onto the map, and then let's have a look, because it's berserkers and berserkers and berserkers. We are going berserker mad, because we're so used to it happening in sieges just now. Just berserkers for the win here. And it's going to be interesting how this all pans out here. The attackers and defenders all going with berserkers, barbars and cataphract and his cataphracts always. We'll get the prediction things off the screen here. We will stop the predictions as well. And we're underway, boys. That's it. Let's have a look to see what you guys think. Did you eat a Turkish kebab? I do love a Turkish kebab. Not a very... Uh, I do love kebab, but it's probably not a proper Turkish kebab, if I'm honest. Okay, so, berserkers on the top of the wall here. Hero-wise, Camden Rambo is the first to die. Oh, I hate to see it, Rambo. Flare Star picks off that kill. Barbar -Bar dies as well. Wolf Silent falls to Flare Star as well. Oh, so that was quite a close one. King Ruben's unit kills Barbar. -Bar. And so far, they're getting some units and heroes on the wall. It's all about that fight up here. Royal Zoid falls his death here as well. And lots of the guys of Baguette Munchers are dying quicker than the guys of Kebabs. Royal Zoid, Black and Red dies there as well. There's a couple of heroes. A Total War brings in his trebuchet to try and deal with the berserkers of Kebabs here. The treb comes in. The units are starting to rotate back there. Coffee's trying to chase him out so that the trap comes in. It does come in. Jamlar falls, he's dead from Flare Star. There's two fights going on. B and the guys over at A, but it looks like Kebabs have won the fight over on the A side, so they're rotating around now and they'll start to wipe off the heroes. But baguettes now down to nine heroes alive already after the first encounter of units here. Coffee Fuel Gaming falls, he's dead here as well. But the boys are staying alive on the point of B here, and it's going to be a full rotation of kebabs, there's plenty of trebs coming in here, but unit wise, there's not that many units here to, to actually knock out here, the Iron Reapers are on the point, Furita is trying to stay alive as a short sword as long as possible, as we start to set up units outside the B gateway, you've got Fort Abrashio coming in there, they're going to set up in the wall, and Jamlar's boys will try to, try to find a way in through the gateway, hero wise, it's going to be lots and lots, Mark's never good enough to participate, don't be daft, don't be daft. Shout out to Coffee Fuel for the intro. Definitely, definitely, CB. Definitely. Right, this is it. The Massacre awaits, says Bamboo. We've got 13 heroes now alive. They're waiting until the full 15 is ready. They know it's going to be a rotation. The, cat, the units have all changed around. We've got units to push now here. Still lots more Berserkers out for the defending side of Kebab so far. Let's make a team... Just you and me and bring forth, you bring IP Imperial Shields. Echoes have got this. We got this. That sounds like a plan. DU's called in the trip. Mario falls, he's dead from Sexy Cray. There we go. We're looking at the units now through the gateway. This is what the kebabs will see coming towards them. The Fort Abrasio move and brace forward as he starts firing some Senji Grenadiers. Sending in the bombs, knocking down the units back there. Heroes are dying. DU falls to the unit of the Senjis, that is that is not how you want to die as a longsword. B is still up there to be taken, so is A, but so far the units are all coming into the gateway, they might get pinched if they come through too far, HRH moves his Imperial, his Immortal Garrison forward, as the unit Berserkers comes in from behind them, here we go, the push is coming in now, from the gateway, from Baguettes, they're starting to move forward, the Modalis are in there, the cavalry is not here, so it's going to be interesting to see, it's all infantry fighting, 
to the nail here. Hero wise though, they're just dying too quickly. There comes the cavalry. Hassan charge comes in when the units are wiped out here so far. Coffee fuel game and picking up your mag. Oh my G. And then all of a sudden it's down to six heroes. A quad kill from Makuka already. Here we go. 500 units left versus 809. 14 heroes versus four. Four of them is Candom Rambo, HRH, Mario, and DU. I have no idea what we can say about that one. But that is not the strategy, boys. We can't be run over like that. That was just poor, uh, poor play. No siege towers are even making it to walls. There is no way to push up onto the walls and go supply point. That far siege tower still never made it either. And they're not even anywhere to be seen. Kebabs full rotating all the way around to the A supply point, getting more units ready for this. They're almost doubled up on the units here. 300 unit difference so far, and we've still got 5 minutes to go. No A or B really capped, to be honest. Living Trebs available, and I don't think this uh, using uh, Berserkers is the way forward, boys. Berserkers hadn't worked for the Berserker teams, but the fact that both teams had Berserkers, it was about your position. You can't get onto the wall with Berserkers defending Berserkers here. It, it definitely didn't work here. The Berserkers on the top, top of the wall have the advantage. They're already fighting before units, the full unit is up. So very rough for the Baguette Monsters there. The gate is now shut here as well. Kebab shut the gate. They've not managed to take the gate down. They've not got heroes there to take out the gate. But the Fire Siege Tower is starting to get pushed now. They're going to start pushing that Siege Tower and see what they've got. It's only 4 minutes 50. Kebabs might be able to just defend this without even losing A or B here. And I hope that is not the case from Baguettes. I want to see the improvement here. Total War, DU on that, rotating around. Wolf Silent, just rotating around, but not really doing majorly anything at this point in time. When looking at uh, hero kills here, 25 kills against 2. That is the difference you're seeing here. 2 hero kills versus 25. That is not going to win you any battles up front there. But Kebab's shown what their strength is. Black and red just peeking above here. Looking at positions here. Potentially looking for a treb. But if he hasn't got a treb available and he's already used his, then we are a bit screwed for that one. They're starting to rotate around to these sea stars as these sea stars start to make their way to the wall. They're also getting the battering ram down as well. And Kebabs will defend the top of H just now with units rotating around using Senjis. Using some range stuff to try and take out the units and weaken units before the push even begins. What what is this unit? Is this Rat and Vipers? Are we seeing Rat and Vipers? We are seeing Rat and Vipers defending. That is interesting strategy here. Wolf Pastelarum calls in the Treb. Treb comes in, but there's nothing there to be Treb. The units are starting to set themselves up. They're looking at units to go in. HRH and Coffee Fuel Gaming with the cavalry. Looking to get inside here. Looking to see what's in, in the defensive side. The supply point has nothing on it at this point in time. It's not takeable, but at least they can stop people getting out of the units. They can potentially get that stopped. Here we've got Cannon still alive here for Velky. They're going to get that taken out. The Wolf Pastelarum sees that, takes that out, gets knocked off the wall in the same time. Kebabs getting units on the wall, but nothing too major. The Treb comes in, and Coffee Fuel Gaming is over on the supply point here with his unit. You've got HRH, Furita, Mariald all coming around. Wolf Silent as well, looking to go towards the supply point. Now they're going to time this well so that the push comes in. Christos, thank you for the follow, and hi there to whoever said hi, Mark, in chat there. I appreciate it. Um, this is going to be going to be a different strategy here from them. Black and red calls in that Treb now. He's calling it in. Whoa, that's a rep, Kisan Kieran. Don't underestimate it. Life. It looks like it. Lugundor, thank you for your Twitch Prime, buddy. Welcome to the OG clan. I really appreciate you. You're an absolute shame. legend. Thank you very much. Pardon is calling out this shame. I guess it's their first shame. time. Yes, their first time, Benz. It's their first time. This is their first season playing this. They're quite new to this whole attacking and uh, defending things in tournaments. They are learning every single time. Sexy Boomer gets picked off. Uh, well, picks off Wolf Silent. Sorry, if you read the calls in the trebuchet, where is the treb coming in here? Actually, it's coming onto the B supply, uh, B area. The cavalry is still out from Royal Zoid, Coffee Field, and HRH in the gateway, but there's nothing really to kill over there. It's just three heroes getting wasted at this point of time. You've got Fort Abrasio watching the back entrance here, but this is a unit of Immortal Garrison charging into the back as the unit of Fort Abrasio moves. It looks like they're all going to get wiped out here. One minute, 45 seconds. They're not even going to get a cap point here. They're going 
going to have to push. They should be pushing from this side. No idea why this side is not pushing at the same time as the right-hand side. Kabaz have now got a full time to even rotate around. They're too busy focused on that one hero. That sexy hunter kept all four of them heroes occupied and they didn't push in from that side. My dad calls in the trip. Are they going to cap B here? They've got heroes on the point trying to cap it, but I don't think this will happen. Rotation is coming in from Kebabs. The, the boys are dying so quickly here, they can't deal with it. 13 versus 7. Royal Zod gets on the point. I think that's going to be at 713 units versus 243, and they're just getting whittled down by the second here. We have one minute left. B starts to be getting capped, but if you do this, you're literally just going to prolong your hurt and be disheartened by the end result here. They're starting to sally out with cavalry. So far, 699 versus 217. But gets us a full-on death match on the B point because that's the closest point to be capped. But the trebs are all coming in. The heroes are dying. There's only three alive. Royal Zoid stays on the point for as long as possible. Gets knocked off the wall and stays alive off of that. Machuka picking up the bloodbath. A starts to be getting capped by Wolf Silent and Wolf Drago. Kebab are so far away though, they're not going to get this because by the time they rotate, they're not going to get A. Wolf Silent, Total War Drago, Dunder, Wolf Pasilum, Jamlar, Furuted, looking to get back on the wall. Will they be able to cap this? Or is this just game over? I don't think they are. They've got units watching it. Silent waiting. They've got some people watching the point so they can cap it. Dunder and Total War, pa Wolf Pasilum on the point. B starts getting capped as well. Royals is capping that as a Pike Pillar defends that, but that is it. GG. Kebabs, strong as hell effort. The hero kills were phenomenal. I don't see very many heroes dying from you guys either. Personal stats, Mario gets the MVP with the one hero kills, but look at the unit kills. There's no unit kills there. There is no hero kills there from Baguette Munchers. It's a rough time for you guys of Baguettes to even deal with that situation. Kebabs are very well drilled, a very strong squad. And the Llama boys and the Sexy boys know what to do. Their rotations were fantastic. Their hero kill was on point. As you see, Mashuka top of the list here as MVP with the 7 hero kills and the 72 unit kills. You've also got Flare Star with 6 hero kills. You've got Sexy Kebab with 4. You've got Sexy Boomer with 4 and Sexy Cray with 4. All of these guys turning up, getting the hero kills. On the post-match analysis, 6 heroes only died for Kebabs. You can't, you can't do it. 6 heroes for Kebabs died against 39 heroes dying on the side of the baguettes. It is the will